And there's a lot of smiles. We'll see if it works. And Jax. I mean, you want melee from yeah, Sejuani, right? Yeah. So at the end of the day, Jax, Sione, Sejuani, incredibly strong top side of the map. And then you have Kaiserel that fits perfectly into the hardened gauge. And on the side of Kwangdong, you do have some really a great one. Got a flash. He's indexing into it a lot as Slice and Dice does come in, but the Counter-Strike is there, and one more hit will freeze him due to holding onto his Flash, but he just gets charged into, and Grizzly gonna set up a First Blood for himself, says thank you very much. We all have our things that we get irrationally annoyed by. Yeah, that yeah, is, that's uh, not was, oh, Youngjae. Ooh, and in goes Sione, sets it up perfectly. Is it enough damage, though? Youngjae gonna flash away, but still, follow-up flash from Kingen, and now, oh, the stun in midair, and... Grizzly is on a tear, man. This guy is just setting up everything in the early game as Bulldog. He does have level six, but it's not enough to get away from three of them. And money on one of your carries that can hit his first couple of spikes very nicely. Dudu just face checking in the brush where three of them are. We do have a nice oh. little rotation coming on in, but take a look. The Yone coming in as well, but the Ash Arrow onto Grizzly, but the follow up engage from Burrell might be enough, and the Sun comes in on the Young Jay, and they just got themselves in a really rough spot, but now everybody's coming on over. Bulldog joining up as they the bottom own. lane. Everybody is in this fight. Life trying to sacrifice himself as Hamalai Vsports, not expecting the entire team to be there, but they were. And so a couple of kills will go over to nice. Tate. Hovering. It's on a bit of vision, but no flash here for T. It means, oh, the max range Yone ult, but there's no follow-up as now. Teleport! Trying to get away, and yeah, the teleport from Bulldog gonna push him back into the fight as they're trying to win this oh. one straight up, and man, he's getting away. In goes Viper, looking for the back line. He's gonna pick up one. Yeah. Can he make a two? Taven survives for way too long. As now flash forward, he's trying to solo carry this team fight right now as Viper has the Sejuani as well. The staying power is huge, and it's a triple for Viper in the bottom lane. And Dudu, -Doo. charge, will be the case. Oh, ult coming in, but they're also ulting bottom lane. Tain is just dead. As meanwhile, Zeka gonna go pretty far for that one, but Tain, uh, pull the rotation towards mid. And, oh, on the ult. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, not, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe some debut nerves. He will die. That's, that's how the saying goes. That's how and the saying goes. Kwangdong were able to bounce back from a very rough early game. Now, can Kwangdong keep their back line safe? King and coming in from the front as well. Yeah, they do have this insane engage. They're going to throw a lot of it into the Maokai already as Emilio Ultimate still available and the Rel not getting a lot of value due to getting into that back line as the Rift Herald will go the way of Hamalite Esports. But what about the follow up fight here? King and going to get dunked on. Double kill for Taeyun. Kwangno Freaks at least able to pull a couple of kills their way. Really well scaling composition. Outside of the Renekton, you have Frontline and, and 280 carry. And the burst from Zach and enough, but Grizzly. Oh, hello. And he is going to miss that, but uh, the follow-up abilities will not. A little bit of a zoning ultimate. Half sarcastic. And then he up there. Grizzly then knocks it down, and Bulldog struggling a little bit on one of his trademark picks. Going down repeatedly now, and... The Yone counter pick seemingly working out of the lane sure it falls and Humble Life. Gonna go for it now. Quantum Freaks, they gotta push their buttons pretty soon here as the Renekton far away there. They're kinda waiting for him as Alt thrown into Grizzly. Melio also gonna try to keep him alive. My as Kaisa is getting flanked. He gets jumped on and down oh. goes to Kaisa immediately. Viper is not in the fight and now Humble Life Esports don't quite have the damage unless Jax can do something. It's not gonna happen. Tayud gonna take him out with the help of Bulldog, and they're just gonna get totally wiped up here. What? Pongo freaks a clean ace. All five of them survive. Take the Baron. That's gonna be a gold swing back out of nowhere. Yeah, we gotta see how this happens. Humble Life are fighting on the back foot. The amount of DPS that Bulldog and Tain put out is unreal. Like, Tain did like 5k damage, I think. You know that they are here, as the W not quite going to miss, but eventually... This is a lot invested, and a lot of time, so like, they'll get the kill, but... Uh, yes, it, they will. <laughs> but take a look at mid, as you mentioned. Down goes the inner. This is some inexperience. Sure. They should be able to, at the very least, trade themselves as... Ooh, nice ult. Good flash as well. Um, credits to Hanwha. I think really showcasing uh, a, a good sense of, hey. Zoned away from his team as Hanwha Peace Force don't necessarily want to take this Whoa. fight. They just try to disengage themselves. I don't know though. That is the Maokai ult gone and the Ash ult. 
Sedge ult gone as well, though. They're trying to get on top of Tain, though. This Ash is so squishy, but he has stopwatch. He's going to stay alive, and now Viper is in that backline, and he gets flashed on again. Immediate cleanse, and he has stopwatch. So I think Viper, Viper will barely survive. Unbelievable mechanics shown by him as Zondil and Bulldog, though, still alive. Some low health bars. Bulldog trying to get in that backline as he hops on in, and oh, man, he's still alive somehow. Still Milio. He's going to hop away. As now just trying to life seal off of the wave or something as the static shift nearly kills three of them and Zekka is on a little bit of a tear and he's able to tank up oh! the right and he nearly dies. 10 and HP! Viper. Still on the chase here, he's gonna hop on over. King and taking a bit of damage, gonna dodge that arrow as now the front line trying to just run the in back. the front door as Grizzly's getting so low, but the relic gauge is massive as he gets in, but Viper immediately into the Zonia Dudu not quite able to hit the stun onto him, and that engage was just back-breaking in favor of Hamalife Esports. And that should be it. Kingen is like an annoying fly, creating space off to the side. And the moment that very well could be the game-ending fighter for Hamba, but man, Kuno is making them sweat for it, but now... Everybody on the side of Hamalife Esports has stasis. Every single person we have. Zonyas for three, as Viper just looking to kill Dudu. I was looking at items, he's just gonna assassinate someone. Down he will go as a stun hits him after the GA, and Dudu just dies because Viper saw him and looked at him and he died. And they might, they might not even go for the Dragon here. Can just push through mid without Dudu. I think it's safer oh. because Tan's beginning to auto quite a bit. Yeah, TP is coming in as... Follow him, that would have been funny. Uh, he would have died, but it would have been very funny. While it happened, and now Infernal Soul is here. If you thought Viper did damage before, uh, things are not about to get better. Okay, well, that's flashed down as Ingo Zeka looking to set up the play in the flank from King and from the top. Just the cherry on top from this fantastic game that we have had so far. That's going to do it. They take the Infernal, they take the fights. As Viper now 12 kills, and he picks up a thousand kills. The 10th bot laner to do it, obviously spending some time abroad outside of the LCK, is the only reason why he didn't have it earlier. As, uh, yep, there you go. Gonna take that final kill, and we'll take the Nexus here for game number one. Double digits here for Viper, and the mid game not necessarily flawless from the rest of his team. Um.